that I'm putting together because I didn't have a lot of time this week to do anything. And also I haven't done a React video in a while. Um, yeah, you see a lot of articles or posts similar to this where people are having issues with the multiple renders that you're getting from the Ionic implementation of um, Vue and uh, React. And what's happening is, and if you read the documentation, which I'll add a link below, um, they clearly state that they're leaving these pages uh, in memory in DOM. Um, and so what's happening, if you're not managing uh, the rendering of the pages, you are going to see your pages being rendered multiple times, data being loaded multiple times on pages that are not visible. Um, so there's a couple of strategies to address that. I will show you a quick hack on how to address the strategy in React using this I am view did enter and I am view did leave and setting some flags and plus also I'll move around a couple of things to uh, help with the rendering. Um, what I'm doing here is I'm using code sandbox because it can get my environment set up very quickly for me and uh, it's just a cool tool to use. What you can see right here is a sample app and let me clear this uh, menu so you can see the console. So the just so you can understand what the problem is. Um, when I reload this page you can see I'm getting a render, I'm getting this card's render, and it's getting rendered twice. Then the, the IM view did enter, and then that is when we are setting it, and then we're getting the updated cards. A couple of things to note that anytime you call a use state and you modify the state, it's going to cause the whole thing to re render. So that's where a couple of the renders are coming from. Also, from a blog post that I saw, um, one of the recommendations that um, React, uh, the Ionic team gives you to Address some of the re-renders, let's use React Memo down here on your object. So we'll start with that. Let's see what that does for our renders. So let's save this. Let's close this. Save it. Reload. Well, well, it didn't seem to do too much right now. We're still using the same amount. Let's see if, well, actually no. Let me stay corrected. The value you were getting out of this was when you were navigating between tabs. So let's clear that up. Refresh that. So you get that. And then when I switch between tabs, you see all of these renderings that you're getting. See them all? Right? So that is where the fix for the React Memo came in. So React Memo. And Let's save that, clear that, um, refresh. All right, uh, go back to tab one, refresh this guy. Sometimes code sandbox like that. All right, so we have them. See now when I switch between tabs, I'm getting considerably less number of renders. So that's the first fix is the React Memo. Okay, the next fix is, I know Iron View did enter is recommended, but what's happening is if you set the cars every time an Iron View did enter, you're going to cause state changes every time you do it here. So you can, I believe, you can just fall back to the default use effect um, from React. And what we can do here is if we use use effect and we set cars list and we set I believe the if I set no dependencies, uh, cars list. Um, if I set no dependency, if I put cars list in here, um, actually, I'm just going to take this off. I'm going to ignore this warning, um, and let's see if that makes a difference. So let's move this, this is a console, let's move it outside, it's not going to change. Okay. Now let's see what we get. We should get some of our renders reduced here. So let's try again. Alright, so we're reloading this, we're setting cars inside of here, so cars are only getting set once. But we're still getting the multiple renders, we have our IMV did enter. Um, but what's happening is that as I'm using moving tags, we're still rendering all this stuff down here, right? The whole idea is we don't want to render the page when we're not on the page. So the next step that you can do is we can do this. So we have the IMV did enter. 
looks it up. I on view did leave. And we can add this guy up here. So we're going to bring in the ion view to leave. And then what we'll do is, it's not consuming errors, it's refreshes. Like I said, sometimes code sandbox bugs out. Okay, so now we're back. Um, so we have our ion view to enter. Ooh, ion view did leave. And so we're in the view. We've left the view. But you see that it's still rendering even though we're not in the view. Right? So that's really what we want to fix. And so now, now I'm back in the view. So what we're going to do is we are going to say here, we're going to create another state. And we're going to say is visible, or you can call it whatever you want, is vis. And we're going to set the default to true. And that should be a good place to get started. And then what we will do is um, inside of my view to enter, set is visible to true. Set is visible. Now here when I leave, we're going to set is visible to false. And then what we're going to do is, right after all this fun stuff, we're going to say if is visible, if it's not visible, we just return null. Okay. So let's refresh this. And so now we're on tab one, and you did enter. And so we're rendering it. I go to tab two. Ion view did enter. Cars, why is it rendering cars? Why is it rendering cars? If it's not visible, enter. Oh, let's see, three. So now we're on the tabs, and as you can see, it's not rendering. See, before it was rendering all the time. If I go back to tab one, then the view did enter and I rendered. Back to tab two. It came in. Is that visible? What is going on? Let me let me refresh this all the way. This doesn't look like it's doing what it's supposed to be doing. Go back to tab one. All right. It's rendering, rendering, rendering. I don't. So the view did enter. All right. So um, it's doing these renders because the window is visible. It does one more render because I set I set it. So view did enter, got rendered. Um, it set is, is visible, but as you know, these are asynchronous, they don't happen immediately. So then it rendered the, um, it uh, rendered this, and then when I left, it rendered the view did leave. So now, as you can see, as I hop back and forth, tab two and tab three, nothing's getting rendered. And if I go back to tab one, if you did enter, it renders everything. So that's what we're getting. So once again, what we're doing is we're setting this flag to minimize the rendering. So what will happen is if we are set in the background, um, we don't render anything. If we are visible, then we render something. So that's the first pass. So let me see what happens if I change this to iron view will and Uh, no, let's see if we change this one. Let's pause, let's pause, let's pause. So the, the basic uh, thing that we did was we used the use memo to minimize the number of times it got rendered initially. Let's clear this out. Um, we did the use effects to set the car. Actually, let's do this here so we can see how often we want to use effects. Add to log. Use effects. Let's erase all this. And move 
Flash. So it's nothing. We go into use effects. We set the cards list, and then we get our render. Now we leave the page. See no use effects. Leave the page. We're bouncing around. We go back. See we're not getting use effects again, which with the other approach when it was being set every time in view did enter, you would be getting um, the state change by setting cars. So this will this is basically the equivalent uh, the equivalent of the uh, component will mount, the component did mount, and so that's where we're only going to set it once there. This will get called every time you exit and enter the view, um, and that's when we want to set it to true, so we can draw. And here you set it to false, so you don't draw. And here, if it's not visible, then just return null and don't render anything whatsoever. Um, and so by exiting here, that means we don't render any of this. So any other um, logic that you have going on in the page, it is simply not happening. So if there were some complex components down here, they would not be executed. So that is basically um, the gist of this quick video. As I said, I will add links to talk about uh, React Memo, which is basically caching this uh, tab object. I will add links to the ion view did leave, the ion view did enter, and then I'll also add a link talking about how use effect is a, um, a great way to place some of your content. Um, I moved this constant to the outside because I just think it's a constant. What does it need to be inside of the actual tab component? Um, and so that's kind of it for the short video. Hopefully you enjoyed it. Um, you can see the links up here. Um, I'll also include the link in the video. Thanks and take care.